Last you year, too. when so many of us were on lockdown and isolated during the pandemic, two high school teens decided to do something to help support each other and other teens as well. They created something called COVID TV as a way to help socially isolated teens connect. And this morning we are joined by those young ladies, Lauren Tapper and Krishita Duda, both high school students at the University of Chicago Lab School. Good morning to both of you. So nice to have you. Good morning. So nice to be here. So I'm assuming the two of you are were friends, but tell me about how your personal experiences during this lockdown led to COVID TV. Yeah, so personally, lockdown had started off really amazing. We were all excited. It was like summer break almost. We could sleep in for school. But as time went on and online learning lasted a lot, lot longer than two weeks, reality hit me and every day was extremely exhausting from reading all the really sad news about the increasing death counts to just staring at a screen for school all day. And last March, Lauren and I decided that we could use our time to help other teenagers who were struggling in the exact same way that we were um, worldwide and help set up our website, COVID TV, for people to just share their stories and begin to connect with one another. And that's where it all began. And once we began gaining momentum with students all over the world, we just knew that we had to turn COVID TV into something concrete that truly helped people like we were helping them and continue to do so. Well, you know, that's something. So COVID TV, the two of your friends, you decided to start this. How did the word get out and how successful has this become? And I'll let you answer that one, Lauren. Yeah, we've been able to reach people in 10 countries and have almost 15,000 readers, which is really surreal at a time when we felt so disconnected from others and felt so distanced. We were able to actually make this connection with more people than we have ever been able to before. And that was really through expanding into something we call community projects, which is where besides just blog posts connecting teens, we also encouraged them to join different social justice movements. And that allowed them to get involved in helping their communities during the pandemic. For example, we sewed over 16,000 masks for community centers and nursing homes, and then raised over $20,000 to help people who had lost their job or people who had lost stable access to food during the pandemic. Wow, so you guys not only created uh, this pl meeting place so that you can share your thoughts and experiences about what has been going on, but you also said, hey, let's turn in this into something good. You made masks, you did fundraising. That is incredible. What would you say was the most compelling thing, maybe an individual story that came out of this, either of you? Um, I'd say the most compelling thing was essentially just getting to meet all the ambassadors that we had because we managed, like Lauren explained, we managed to gain an ambassador base of people from over 10 countries spanning over 70 schools and 30 cities. And just meeting all of those people, you start to realize that everyone really is going through the same thing. And that might seem like something simple, but when you hear a story from a place like London, and then you hear of someone from a student here, and then one from India, and all the stories just seem so similar, you just realize how united teenagers actually are in this experience. and the advantage that we have in that situation to help one another get through this pandemic. You bring up such a good point because I think uh, without something like this, you do feel like maybe this is something you are going through on your own and you discover, hey, they're going through the exact same thing. Now, Lauren, I understand you won an award recently for teens who show exceptional leadership to make the world a better place. Tell me about that. Yeah, I just won the Diller Team to Kunalam Award through the Helen Diller Foundation, which is an award that grants um, teens with $36,000 to either continue on their tikkun alam or repairing the world social justice projects or to help with their education, for example, paying school or college tuition. And so it's granted to 10 teens from across the United States and five from California every year. And it's really two fun projects of young Jewish leaders who are making a change in the world and trying to help others and repair hurt that exists in their communities. Well, congratulations. I'm curious now, yeah. Krishida and Lauren, and uh, I'll let you have the final word here, Krishida. Uh, what's the future hold for the two of you with this uh, particular website or any expansion? Yeah, so for the future, for both of us, um, COVID TV is going to expand into Empower Team, which is an expansion that empowers teenagers to make a difference in areas other than the pandemic, and specifically mental health and supporting teenagers in emerging countries and communities. And the website is already launched, and we hope to have as many teenagers as possible come on board as we begin our journey into the next phase of COVID TV. 
Well, nothing but the best to both of you. Congratulations, good luck. It is a powerful thing you have created. Who knew when you first started it was gonna end up like this? So I just wanna give you a, a big round of applause and keep up the great work. Very impressive, young ladies. Good to meet you. Yeah, good to meet you. Yeah.